the decision to use modular construction in your home project will be an important factor in achieving the highest possible quality solution to your housing needs. The modular concept is based upon the ability to greatly reduce the amount of time needed to complete the construction of a new home, while at the same time assuring that all of the needs of housing buyers are accurately met. Founded in 1989, Structural Modulars Incorporated recognized these tremendous advantages and committed itself to satisfying customers at the highest possible level. Structural Modulars utilizes nothing but the finest materials and technology to support its ultra-modern manufacturing approach that is just right for today's home buyer. Let's begin the story of how Structural Modulars actually builds a home by undertaking several preliminary steps critical to creating a successful home project. Also, be sure to ask your salesperson about our Energy Star and Green Built Homes. Through new technology, structural modulars can help customers envision their new home with our Kitchen Design Center and take them on a 3D virtual tour. Design Phase 2 – The Customer Ordering Process as orders are received by email, postal mail, or even by hand, they are immediately processed for scheduling. After orders are checked for completeness and accuracy, they are delivered to the drafting department, where they are checked for code and systems compliance, and the feasibility of manufacturing using the modular concept. Our trained and highly skilled draftsmen utilizing state-of-the-art computer technology create production drawings. These drawings contain 15 to 20 detail sheets for each individual house and are used extensively during the manufacturing process. Nothing is passed over that can contribute to the highest possible quality of the end product. Drawings are then distributed to the purchasing department and production supervisors. Structural Modular's purchasing agent ensures that all items will be delivered on time to meet scheduling needs and that they are purchased at the lowest possible price. National, brand name products are used in Structural Modular homes and strict inventory controls are exercised to ensure that no items become outdated or damaged. Receivers check all items as they are delivered and use proper equipment and care in their handling. Every item has its own storage area, specifically designed to protect it from damage and to ease installation. Materials are moved from storage to the manufacturing line as they are needed. Structural Modular's manufacturing facility was specially designed for the production of high-quality modular homes. Personnel movement is minimized to assigned stations, thereby improving safety and efficiency. Floor space, including mezzanines, is laid out for specific utilization and storage in the manufacturing process, as well as proper maintenance of equipment. The quality assurance process begins even before the first nail is driven. A document, known as a traveler, is created for each module, which is used to record all inspection and checks made during the manufacturing process. At this point, materials are checked for dimensions, species, grade, and condition. Particular care is taken to ensure the accuracy of all measurements and the placement of all members including backing for doors, windows, cabinets, interior walls, and mechanical installations. Production lines run the full length of Structural Modular's manufacturing facility, extending outside to facilitate loading. Lines are constructed of precision manufactured track rollers, which are plumb, level, and true to line. This provides for ease of movement through the manufacturing process and ensures that homes are built square and true. After production supervisors receive completed drawings, they are thoroughly reviewed to assure accuracy. A schedule of events is prepared, which ensures a timely and efficient production sequence. The manufacturing sequence begins at the framing station. Here, all framing of exterior and interior walls and ceiling coverings are completed. All framing members are cut to size and assembled in a precision jig designed specifically for each home component. The floor is completely framed and floor sheathing is glued and screwed. It is important to point out that all items are installed using a fastening schedule required and approved by each state housing agency where the product is shipped. 
walls, which have been concurrently assembled, are installed on the floor system in much the same manner as is found in traditional stick building. The exterior walls are 2x6 construction and will be insulated to a value of R19 or greater. The ceiling and roof assembly, which includes one half inch high strength drywall, is brought into place by an overhead crane. Because the assemblies have been made in jigs and cut to precision measurements, we now have a perfect six-sided module ready for movement to the next manufacturing station. Notice the microlam system running along the full length of both sides, floor, and roof of the module. This is a unique and important component pioneered by structural modulars, it's not used by other manufacturers. It provides for rigidity of the product and provides additional strength during handling, transportation, and setting of the modules. It also provides a wide range of flexibility in design. In fact, large sections of walls can be removed or eliminated without affecting the structural integrity of the module. The schedule for fastening materials together and assemblies to each other is noted, checked, and recorded on the traveler. Units are then ready to move down the manufacturing line. At the next manufacturing station, all rough-in plumbing, heating, and wiring is completed. An innovative pit under the unit allows work on all sides and the bottom at the same time. This permits all mechanical tasks to be completed properly, and the use of unnecessary material is eliminated. Wall insulation is installed and exterior sheathing on all four sides is glued and stapled. Wall coverings, which have been left undone so mechanical items could be installed, are completed according to the approved fastening schedule. All penetrations for items, like the light fixtures and electrical boxes, are now caulked and sealed to eliminate air infiltration. After insulation is installed, our Energy Star homes are inspected by an official PERS Raider to ensure Energy Star compliance. Quality Assurance personnel check for proper material and equipment use, as well as wire size and placement in order to ensure that grade, size, and condition meet National Electrical Code requirements. Plumbing materials in their proper installation must meet the code requirements of the locality to which their product will be delivered. Fire stopping material is applied where mechanical items, wires, or pipes pass through floors or firewalls. This is an important safety feature rarely included in a stick-built home. The results of inspections are again recorded on the traveler and initialed. As we progress down the production line, drywall finishing continues and it receives final sanding and two coats of primer. Structural modular sprays on the primer and then uses rulers for a uniform finish. Ceiling insulation is completed, door and window openings are cut out and checked for accuracy. Preparations for roof sheathing are made and again we are ready to move the module down the production line. There are many tasks to be completed. Some items from previous stations are finished here and new ones are started. Exterior finishes, siding, roof sheathing, and architectural shingles are installed. Door and window installation begins after interior walls and ceilings have received their final coat of primer. Floors are cleaned, sanded, and filled where required. Carpet and vinyl floor coverings are cut and prepared. Glue-on is installed for vinyl and cement board for ceramic. Interior trims, casing, base and jam extensions are cut and fit. All electrical devices, including switches, receptacles, cover plates, and fixtures are installed. Plumbing items, including faucets, sinks, commodes, lavatories, and plumbing trim are installed. All concealed plumbing lines are checked with compressed air and drains are water tested to ensure completeness. The results are documented on the traveler. 
Quality Assurance personnel then conduct an electrical circuitry test using over 1,000 volts and a dielectric strength meter to record capabilities of the electrical system. After proper documentation, the electrical equipment containing motors or low voltage controls are installed and the electrical power box is labeled to indicate where circuit breakers have been assigned. Finally, after all quality control work has been documented, ship loose items used for on-site finishing are loaded and secured for shipment. Interior doors, cabinet doors, and drawers are secured and protective coverings are applied. Units are completely weatherproof before quality assurance personnel will issue a state insignia, a third-party inspection seal, and the manufactured data plate. Units are loaded from the manufacturing line onto specially designed carriers using the straddle crane, which is unique to the industry. All equipment used in the SMI system was designed, and in many cases built by company personnel, with an eye toward efficiency and quality of the product. No detail was passed over without measuring its impact on the final product all the way from the initiation of the order to its arrival on the site. Modules are then released to the transportation department. Transportation personnel will notify the builder of the status of units and make final arrangements for the home set and delivery dates. Typically, the next day, the crane and set crew arrive at the home site to begin the next phase of construction. Weather conditions such as light precipitation or freezing do not normally affect setting operations. Site layout is important and contributes greatly to the efficiency of the set crew. The foundation has already been prepared to receive the modules. Workers strip the units of protective coverings where they may interfere with the watertight fit and prepare the module for the lifting equipment and rigging. Units are also equipped to apply come-alongs, which enable modules to be pulled together tightly during the set. The crane lifts the units from the carriers and places them on the foundation. The set crew assists in accurate placement. The complete structural modulars home consists of two or more modules which fit precisely. Two-story buildings and commercial structures are all possible with the structural modular system. The units are set slightly high at the marriage walls to facilitate the removal of cables. After the rigging has been removed, the modules are lowered into their final position by the set crew. Floors are adjusted for exact fit and center beams are securely bolted together before placing intermediate supports. Concurrently, the hinged roof system is raised and flips are placed to complete the roof, including the overhangs. After adjusting knee walls and properly aligning the roof sections, they are securely fastened and the gable end assemblies are securely placed and fastened. Additional roof shingles, which were shipped loose, are now installed, making the unit entirely weatherproof. The advanced methods used by structural modulars allow for complete, timely, weather-tight sets. Finish work begins at any time after the set, which cannot be installed at the factory, located on the bottom of the units and gable ends where the units are joined, is now installed. Soffit and fascia work is now completed using materials sent in the unit as ship loose. Exterior utility hookups which could not have been run into the foundation before the set, are now completed. Electrical, television cable, and telephone services are wired into the house equipment. Immediately after the modules have been weatherproofed, interior finishing is started, concurrently with exterior work. All floor coverings are seen, finished, and protected at the marriage walls. Marriage wall openings receive final finishes using drywall or wood trim kits furnished in the ship loose material. Electrical work simply requires connecting amp connectors between the modules, which have been numbered or coded for the builder's convenience. Plumbing requires horizontal runs of hot and cold water lines and extension of sanitary sewer lines. 
Sewer vents are extended through the roof. All heating will include furnace or boiler installation. Electric heated homes need no additional on-site equipment or labor. Outside amenities, sidewalks or porches are added. Don D. Lewis, founder of Structural Modulars, relies upon a lifetime of construction and housing experience to help him guide this rapidly growing company. Don's approach is simple. Build the best possible product, sell it at a reasonable price, and stand behind your work. These principles are seen at work in every aspect of Structural Modulars operations beginning with initial customer contact and carrying it through to after-sales service. Under Don's guidance, Structural Modulars has assembled one of the finest manufacturing teams in the industry. These are people with tremendous skill and creativity, dedicated to satisfying customer needs. And the company has devoted itself to meeting the highest quality standards found anywhere in the modular housing and 